All new at six, a Russian weapons company is marketing a new missile system that is hidden inside an ordinary shipping container. It can turn a ship, a train, or a truck into a long-range missile launcher. Channel 2's Justin Farmer has been investigating the threat and found officials at the Port of Savannah had never heard of the Club K missile system. John, it sounds like something out of a James Bond movie, a hidden cruise missile that can transform a shipping container into a missile launcher. The problem is, what if it got in the wrong hands? And we do know a Russian company is offering it for sale at international weapon shows. So we went to the Port of Savannah to find out how the feds will combat this potential threat. And they didn't even know about it until we told them. Call it a commercial of the darkest kind. This is a promotional video for the Club K missile system. It's part of the marketing campaign by a private Russian-based weapons manufacturer. This cruise missile system is hidden in a 40-foot shipping container. It can fire four long-range satellite-guided missiles from a ship, train, or the back of a truck. The Club K is being marketed at international weapon shows as a military weapon. But in the hands of a terrorist group, the container could easily be smuggled into the U.S. It's so new, most international security experts have never heard of it. But to, to look at an entire weapon system that can be put on a cargo ship and deployed like this is, is pretty frightening. That's, uh, it's a pretty devastating piece of uh, technology that could have all kinds of collateral damage. The Port of Savannah is the fourth largest in the nation, moving three million containers a year. A Club K missile fired from a container ship like this one, approaching the Port of Savannah, could easily reach Atlanta 250 miles away. Customs and Border Protection are responsible for port security. They didn't know about the missile container system until we told them about it. But are you aware of that weapon? Have you been... Fly him now. Just how does the federal government check millions of containers? They say they carefully monitor the paperwork of every container. They say it's largely done at the port of origin overseas. But they admit, while they have the latest in X-ray technology, it's simply not realistic to scan all cargo. From this ship alone, thousands of containers will be offloaded here at the port of Savannah. All will be tested for nuclear or radioactive materials. But just a small fraction will go through an imaging machine like this to be X-rayed for what's really inside. And if you're not checking 100%, then that's a hole in the system. Every truck is being checked for radiation as it leaves the Savannah port. But the Club K missile can be either nuclear or hold conventional explosives that wouldn't trip these detectors. Savannah authorities told us they believe the Club K wouldn't make it through either way. That our systems in place would, would, would detect such an anomaly? Well, it's extremely troubling. It's extremely troubling. Retired general, now defense industry consultant, David Poitras says the military has been quietly working on technology to defend against a Club K cruise missile type system. It is a huge issue and it is a huge threat. A cruise missile launch from a vessel off offshore against a, uh, an urban population. The highly regarded publication Jane's Defense Weekly estimates the price tag on the Club K missile system between 10 to 20 million dollars and believes the weapon is still in the concept stage. The Russian company selling the weapon has refused interviews. They have issued statements saying that the Club K is not being marketed to terrorists. They also claim to have nations in Latin America and the Asian Pacific region interested in the Club K. Monica. Thank you very much.